Hi everybody, very good morning. So today I am here to practice day 4 with you. I hope you are all ready to work on your spine to increase more flexibility. Doesn't matter what is the capacity of your spine. Without any further delay, let's get started and work on ourselves. So once you are comfortable on the ground, sit either in Sukhasana or Vajrasana. So let us start the session with you deep breathe in, breathe out so that you can relax your mind and body. Now relax your shoulders, drop your hands down on the thighs, lift your chin up, <clears throat> close your eyes. Now take a deep breath in and deep breath out. Deep breath in and breath out. One more inhale. Slowly open your eyes. <clears throat> From here, let us start the session with cat and cow posture. Because we are going to do few of the session, few of the movements in the session where you would need a little bit of a basic uh, warm up. So cat and cow, this posture is going to be like a warm up today. Keep your both the knee apart from each other, which should be one arm distance. And from here, one arm plus add one palm. Wrist and shoulders in one line. Wrist and knees in one line and your spine is in straight line. Now as you inhale, take your spine in, look up. Exhale, look down. Inhale, look up. And look down. Look up. And look down, <clears throat> exhale round your shoulder, inhale look up, spine in and exhale. From here get your both the knee together, come to a child posture, drop your chest down on the thighs, extend your arms, look down, <clears throat> take a breathe in, breathe out. When you breathe in, breathe out deep, you can feel the expansion in your stomach as well as in your spine. One more inhale. And exhale. Move it to the right side. Put the hands to the right. Give a mild twist. Side stretch. Keep your eyes closed. Continue to breathe in, breathe out. Now move it to the other side. Breathe in, breathe out and feel the stretch in your side ribs. Now come back to center. <clears throat> From here, look forward. Now drop your chest down in between both the palm. Slowly lift your chest up and come down. It should be like a wave where you don't really hold into the posture. Just move up and down a few times and lift your spine only how much ever you are comfortable with. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Inhale and exhale. Last one. Inhale and exhale. Now tuck your toe in and lift your spine up. Get your knee a little ahead. From here, keep your knee a little bent and then lift your spine up. Lift your heel up, bend your knee, just lift your spine up. From here, slowly drop your knee down. Don't think about the perfection, don't think that my spine should be like this, my knee should be like this, my heel should be completely on the ground, forget about everything. Just try to focus how are you practicing. Alright, from here, take your spine in completely in 
now exhale take your spine out just try to keep your knee bent and just try to push your shoulder inside okay let's do this few times exhale down inhale spine in from here exhale lift your hip up doesn't matter even if you're here that's okay absolutely fine just like follow the movement knee down spine in knee up spine out inhale and exhale drop your knee down <coughs> spine in lift your knee spine out now from here it's okay if your spine is coming a little ahead if it is straight well and good just like manage from here drop your heels up and down one by one very softly <clears throat> try to breathe in breathe out try to feel the stretch in your hamstring now from here just drop your both the heels down if you can otherwise it's okay just try to give the maximum stretch of your body in parvatasana now and now drop your knee down drop your chest down extend your hands relax your spine relax your wrist fold your fingers inside so that you relax your wrist is much more relaxed and you're ready for the next one eyes closed open up your fingers like stretch fold them inside <clears throat> stretch fold them inside stretch fold them inside stretch now from here keep your palm firm on the ground lift your knee lift your hip now bend your knee stretch your spine try to take your spine inside so now just try to get this the same movement when you try cat and cow right you use your pelvic raisin out and in so you're trying to do the same thing in parvatasana <coughs> here you're going to take your spine out open up your chest hold 5 4 3 2 1 and drop your knee down child posture breathe in breathe out just like try to be relaxed here for some time now from here lift your knee once again go back to parvatasana but spine inside hold 5 4 3 2 remember cat posture where you take your spine in 3 2 and 1 drop your knee down relax your spine even if you have a capacity to do it i would ask you to like relax for some time in between so that you don't get exhausted and it is not that you have to do everything just in one go so it's kind of a warm up it's kind of like you're working on your spine very slowly so just like relax after this now when we go back to parvatasana now so we are going to just try the same movement of your hip joint cat and cow posture in parvatasana so we continuously we do this tilting your spine pelvic in and out in and out four to five times so let's just try this together lift your hip up it's okay if you can not keep your heel down and it's okay if you cannot keep your knee bent so figure out whatever works well for you either you bend your knee or straighten up your knee focus on your uh, hip and your pelvic region like now 
if you can he lift your heel up a little it's okay if you don't bend your knee but just lift your heel a little now spine in look forward spine out spine in look forward spine out repeat it inhale and exhale inhale and exhale inhale and exhale and drop your knee down child posture now let's try bhujangasana and parvatasana continuously one after another lie down on the stomach toe pointing outside lift your chest up tuck your toe in now come back to parvatasana get your heel get your foot one step ahead lift your heel up feel the stretch now take your foot one step back around your shoulder drop your stomach down drop your knee down toe pointing outside look up please don't kill your neck try to keep your neck and your shoulder away tuck your toe in come back to parvatasana drop your heels if you can otherwise just hold the posture breathe in breathe out take your foot back round your shoulder drop your knee down bhujangas and look up if you find this stretch too hard then just like get back to cat and cow posture for some time try avoiding this if you are comfortable then com- continue along with me lift your knee up stretch your spine out hold take your leg back round your shoulder drop your knee down first toe pointing outside bhujangasana look up last one more time tuck your toe in come to parvatasan drop your heels down take your foot back round your shoulder bhujangasan knee down look up now from here time to get back to relaxing posture child posture close your eyes fold you both the hands because you might you would have put a little bit of a strain on your elbows as well as on your palm so time to relax your entire upper body breathe in breathe out now from here once again come back to parvatasan now here i am able to drop my heels down you might not be or you might be able to so it's okay whatever the condition is so just try to not move your spine lift your heel completely up and down heel completely up on tip of the toe and down up and down now start taking a slow baby steps towards the palm very slow like one by one it's okay if you have to bend your knee if you cannot manage the flexibility for today take a very small step you can also bend your knee but keep your elbow straight inhale and exhale take a step one by one and come to center bend your knee relax your uh, chest on the thigh hold your knee from behind breathe in breathe out drop your hands down start taking your step back baby step absolutely slow absolutely relaxed try not to be in a hurry to reach the front or the back when you go back just try to see how your hamstring is been helpful to stretch your both the legs walk back to the parvatasana again once you reach keep your both the heels slightly apart drop your knee down come to a child posture
a long breath in long breath out now slowly turn towards the other side just to relax your spine a bit now to the right side move your both the hands to the right and left one by one come back to center lift your knee up come back to parvatasana again drop your heel down give a stretch to the spine now once again start taking a slow steps towards the front baby steps absolute baby steps walking come to the front bend your knee drop your chest down relax your upper body breathe in breathe out now walk back move your spine along with the heel try to take your spine also back walk back to parvatasan keep your both the legs apart from each other settle down in this posture push your spine up give the maximum stretch that you feel you can do it today and then drop your knee down come back to child posture relax your hands relax your upper body relax your shoulders we'll try doing this one walk one more time extend your hand come back to the position lift your heel up lift your spine now slowly drop your heels down move your heels one by one now let's start taking a walk to the front this time try to lift your heel and then place it if you can place your one foot completely and then lift another and forward 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 keep walking keep walking reach the front bend your knee get your spine completely rounded hold here for five counts 5 4 3 2 and 1 drop your hands down time to walk back one see my spine is just moving along with the heels you can try the same thing now keep your both the heels on the ground and move them one by one slowly drop your knee down come to child posture stretch your arms drop your head down now slowly come back to the center try and lie down on your back drop your complete body down on the ground bend your both the knee to the chest give a tight hug to yourself and give a mild massage try to round your spine create some circle from your spine the way i'm doing right now with the help of your knee anti clockwise
back to center <coughs> close your eyes put all the weight on the floor you can literally feel your lower back breathe in and breathe out now slowly lift your both the hands drop it on the floor turn to the side and slowly try to sit up i'm sure your spine must be feeling really relaxed and super active compared to when you started it was quite a deep stretch especially the mountain variation i would always suggest you to do how much ever you can please do not overdo it and eventually you can see the difference if you like my practice drop a comment about your experience and don't forget to like the video i'll see you tomorrow with day 5 till then keep practicing i am also conducting online group classes if you want to practice with me regularly you can join these live sessions all the details are given in the description if you have any doubts you can reach me on instagram yoga for cure you can message me there